Hello everybody, my name is Fazdir and today on July 24th, 2011 day the 32nd festival Power Wound Champions of Champions is taking place at the Six Nations of the, of the Grand River Welcome! Uh, my name is Elizabeth, I'm married to Ron, he's Cree from Thunderchild in Saskatchewan and now we are getting ready for the dance, Ron is braiding my hair and uh, in one day Ron made my dance uh, regalia, part of my dance regalia, fancy shawl with a turtle, so this is the first day I'm wearing it and uh, we are enjoying it very much, thanks. <laughs> Reserve, and this is the 30th time they are organizing their powwow. And there are about four people present who have been to all of them, all the 30 powwows in this location. <laughs> Good day, um, my name is Nicole. I'm circling, my spirit name is Circling Hawkwoman. I'm from the Eagle Clan, and I'm a women's fancy shawl dancer. And we're here at the Six Nations Palo today, having a really awesome time. Thank you very much. This is Men's Fancy. They're gonna pair it up out there.
name is uh, Mike Healy. I'm from Blood Tribe First Nation in Southern Alberta in Blackfoot Country. I'm here in, in Southern Ontario dancing at the Six Nations in Six Nations Grand River, Powwow. Uh, my style of dance is the, called the grass dance. Round of applause. Thank you, Eagle Fly. Tribe, which is located in Mashpee, Massachusetts. Well, it symbolizes my clothes, so I don't call it a costume. Uh, usually when I wear jeans and a t-shirt, I'm pretending to be something I'm not. Pretending? I'm pretending to be something that I'm not when I'm dressed like you guys. Whereas when I wear these clothes, this is what I belong in, this is what my ancestors have. We call it regalia rather than costume. Uh, this represents the styles of the Eastern Woodland. Uh, when you run through trees and thick woods, you don't have those big feathers on, you don't have your feathers sticking straight out of your head, you have to be able to get through those trees. So you wear very little. Um, as you can feel, it's really hot here. You don't wear a lot of clothes. Uh, this is actually my winter clothing. Uh, during the winter months, we didn't wear any shirt uh, because all we had during the summer was our loincloths. You go swimming with those and everything. And uh, as it got a little cooler, you'd put your leggings on and also for protection. Uh, so, also understanding that Massachusetts, where I'm from, we were the tribe who had turkey with the pilgrims. We were the ones who had Thanksgiving. That was the Wampanoag tribe, my mother's tribe. And uh, they only brought certain items for trade. They didn't have a lot of the fancy beads that the other tribes got later. Uh, they didn't have the needles and thread to attach those beads in the manner that you see a lot of those people wearing their colorful regalias. Uh, on top of that, their pla the plain style is where a lot of those clothes originate. And when you're out in the prairie and there's nothing to hide behind, nothing to blend in with, there's no sense trying to. So you just go with the elaborate colorful colors, uh, very big, trying to intimidate your opponent kind of outfit. Whereas out here in the Eastern Woodland, it's just uh, your clothes. And if, if you do battle, you do battle. If you're working in the field, you're still in the same clothes, pretty much. So, uh... Thank you very much. This style of drumming is from the Plains as well, so I'm kind of adapting to theirs. I won't be doing any of my own specific styles. Uh, every story, every dance should tell a story. So when you watch the moves, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to tell a story.
My name is Adam Nordwall. I am of Shoshone, Chippewa, and Navajo Nations. And we came here to uh, Six Nations, uh, Ontario from Stillwater, Oklahoma. Uh, we left late Thursday night, drove straight through 25 hours and to enjoy the celebration this weekend. And we really had a, a really great time. We enjoy the community, the families, the people here. They're, they're all really nice. So we've, had a, we've had a really great time this weekend. And it's set for the heat, but it was it was manageable. Okay. Thank you. 